but I'd like to call the meeting of the Escanaba City Council to order. Here today, December 2nd. Councilmember Moore? Here. Councilmember Boshaw? Here. Councilmember Dubord? Here. Councilmember Flaw? Here. Mayor Amel? Here. Are you Pledge of Allegiance? Okay. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seeking approval and or corrections to the meeting minutes from the regular meeting of November 18th, 2021. Um, Move approval. I'll second. Okay, moved by Ms. Moore, second by Mr. Dubord. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Approval and or adjustments to the agenda. Mr. Mayor, with regard to item four, mm -hmm. we, we've had prior councils have had people come to the podium inquiring as to the process. Um, honestly, looking through the dozen or so <laughs> reasons that allow a board or a council to go into closed session, I, I don't see anything close to this in there. Mm -hmm. If the administration can point out a specific paragraph, I'd like to hear it, but I, I do believe that should be uh, an open session. In fact, we were given something right before the meeting, mm -hmm. uh, some emails from um, prior candidates that explain their frustration with the process. I think it was on the recommendation of uh, our council that we do it in closed session. That's why that it was put on the agenda that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's Understood. Can you because specify? It's, something that, it's something that I have to discuss with the boards, with, with, the, with the council specifically, because there's possibly some changes in policy that may be occurred because of it. And I prefer to talk with the council as to why I would be recommending certain things. Sure. I understand that's your preference, but. As I mentioned, the Open Meetings Act only specifies a, a dozen. Some people, are, I, some members of the public, I don't think they're going to understand. And I want to brief the council on that beforehand, before anything came out of this council, frankly. Again, I, I understand that. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's anything of the 12 reasons specified that permits that. But be that as it may, I'll, I will excuse myself if council chooses to go into closed session on that item. Is, uh, Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. um, is going at the, at the request of legal counsel to discuss his opinion on the matter? Reason I know? To go it's, it's my opinion on it, basically, is what, I'd be giving, is what I'd be giving to the city council. And as to what I think the city council should do going forward, that certainly is something that I would anticipate eventually would be something that would be public. Because, again, I do agree the public does have a right to Mm -hmm. However, it was something that I heard to discuss with the council before any, big, any decision or decisions were made. And this will be an opinion that's different than the one that's printed here. Is this correct? Possibly. I, there's, there's a number of facets I wanted to discuss with the council about the way the charter reads and also some of the points that were brought up in, some, in an email that was sent forward by a citizen to the council. And also, that's part of the reason why I wanted to go into session so it's more thoroughly explain everything so that everyone can make an informed decision on it. So it is a legal opinion that you are providing Essentially, us? Essentially, yes. I am trying to provide legal counsel to the council to say, this is what my recommendations are, this is what I think may need to happen. And Which then is, falls you. out under the reasons of going into closed session because it is legal opinion from our council. Unfortunately, I, I don't believe so. Well, I move for approval of the agenda. Well, regardless of whether we want to approve this or not, we have not made the 
recommended adjustments if we are going to move into closed session. It's recommended that <clears throat> we move through the rest of our beginning items and then we take care of new business items one and two and then move towards some of the closing portions of the meeting and then move into a closed session for items three and four. That would be a massive adjustment to the agenda that does need approval. So we need to approve the adjustment before we can approve the agenda. So I guess I need to follow up with uh, Mr. Boshaw. Was that a motion or adding, like you were trying to add this so as a motion? Unfortunately, we have a motion, but there is no second, but I'm not. I was just curious if we didn't bypass you if it was a motion. That's what I was just asking. Certainly, I'd make a motion to approve the agenda with item four in open session. If we want to move that to item three and push, push item three back to the end so the closed session is the final item, I'd be fine with that. Any further discussion on this? Mr. Flath, would you like to weigh in? I just want to be informed the right way we're supposed to do it. So I, I would go by my opinion, is we have a city attorney telling us what we think he should do and don't do. I don't plan on hiding anything from anybody, but at least sit down and have a conversation, because I'm new. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I want to learn it all. I want to make sure we do right. it all properly and correct. My recommendation would be going closed session. But you got a motion on the floor. So. And again, I did ask the administration under which of the 12 items they would be relying on to go into closed session, and they declined or deferred to answer. Okay, again, so we have a motion on the floor to approve the agenda as is. And no second? I will second the motion. So the agenda you're, you're as is. seconding her. I'll second Karen's motion. Right. So the agenda as is right now reads exactly the way you have it written. I don't know if you have all the marks on your paper that I do. As, okay. as written. If it's as written, then we are asking these folks to exit during our closed session and then return at the end of it. Right. Past Just practice. so we're all aware of. That, that's past practice. P past practice has, has, has been that the 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 council chair would just administratively kind of move those items up and address them before the closed session items. Correct, but the motion that we put on the floor did right. not allow for that. He'd do it during the meeting. So at this. we're making a fine mess out of this. <laughs> Should have been easy. Okay, so we have a second. Yes. Hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Moving on. Does anyone have conflict of interest with any of the items on the agenda that needs to be declared? Moving on, we have brief public comment. Do we have? Shows we have no public hearing scheduled. We have no unfinished business. Moving on to new business item number one. Approval of the 2022 city council meeting dates. Administration is seeking council approval of the 2022 regular annual council meeting schedule. Can you have it? I'm not the fourth or fifth page of the, of the packet. Mm -hmm. I move approval. Second. I only have one conflict of interest if we're willing. Otherwise, I'm gonna ask for an excused uh, absence. On January uh, 6th, I have an executive meeting in Marquette. I will not be here. So either I ask the council if we can move the date, or if you're okay, I'm just letting you give in a heads up that I will not be present during January 6th meeting. Do we want to move it? I, I did. I guess I'd rather wait and see what's on the agenda. If there's, I can't imagine there'd be anything urgent right after New Year's. But. Yeah. 
I will likely have the same conflict that I did at the last meeting, which November 17th, I will likely be in the midst of a very important rehearsal at the high school for the musical program there. So I will definitely be absent on the 17th of November. If I may be excused, I'm okay with that. Just to note, um, as we're looking at this, we have three years worth of dates on here, but we are approving one year worth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not the entire document, correct? Correct. Okay. All right, so we have you. I made the you motion. You move to approve, and you second with your Todd did. Yeah, Thank second. you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item number two, seek approval of the employee assistance program from the HR director, treasurer. The administration is requesting council to approve, review and approve the annual EAP uh, services in the amount of $5,400. And uh, HR director is here as, all, as well as uh, Mark Helfrich from. Mark's not here. Oh, Mark's not here. oh, I thought Mark was here. I didn't know that. Okay. Never met him before. Oh. I'm here if council has any questions. Um, this, is, this has been in place. This will be going on the third year if council approves this tonight. I think it's an invaluable resource for it is. our employees. I mean, we've had to utilize recently the critical incident um, because of the accident on Thanksgiving. And, you know, if, if we can save one employee, um, you know, it's worth it. I agree, and I just have one quick question. How many people utilize it in the last year, do you know? Did they give you a number? Uh, it's or? about a quarter of our employees. We had 150 well, employees, so about a quarter of them used it. And that's just the employees that doesn't, right. you know, I get a quarterly report that breaks down, um, and you know, it's completely confidential. I yeah. don't know names or anything like that. It's just how many appointments were, were given, used, and if it was a, um, an employee or a family member. And this extends to their immediate family as well. Yes, anybody yes. in the household. Yes. Correct. And, you know, Mr. Helfrich even reached out to the other places that assisted, like Escanaba Township and Ford River Township after the accident on Thanksgiving. So, Could you give a very brief, like, three sentences or less description of the Employee Assistance Program for those who may be listening and don't know what an Employee Assistance Program is? So it is a free counseling session. The city um, pays for the counseling session. It's a yearly membership, I guess I would call it. And the employees get up to eight free sessions per problem area. And it's them and their family members. Thank you. Motion to approve the EAP as employee assistance program for the city of Escanaba employees. Second. Second. Mr. Floth, second. Any further discussion? I believe we need a roll call on this. Sorry, I gotta get my microphone ready. <laughs> uh, Councilmember Dubois? Aye. Councilmember Floth? Yes. Councilmember Moore? Yes. Councilmember Boshaw? Yes. Mayor Amel? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries. <clears throat> well, I kind of like to follow the rules, and since we, <clears throat> since you guys watched us not get that organized, technically, according to the roadmap, we are going to seek a motion to move into closed session at this point, ask you folks to step out and then step back in when we come out of closed session. Motion to go into closed session. Can we get a motion to go into recess first? You want to recess first? Yeah. Okay. Retract motion for recess, five minute recess. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. OK. 
Okay. So.